Hi, it's President Nora again, and I'm here with my sister. It's her show this time. It's Everyday Painting. And if you don't believe we were sisters, here we are. I'm the baby. Everybody thinks I'm older because I have the white hair, but I am the baby. Okay, um, what have you got to say for yourself? Um, <laughs> I just like to paint. Um, I found out a couple of years ago it was very therapeutic, and so I, it just, um, something about just playing with the paint. I really like a lot of times to just start out with no plan. Sometimes I have a plan, but I just pick a color and start painting and see what happens. And um, I used to do a lot of poor art. I'm kind of moving away from that and doing, trying to do abstract, but then I end up making it look like something. So I'm, I must be transitioning or something. <laughs> but I like bright colors. I like texture. I like uh, design and patterns. And, yeah. We can see all that in these two, like those nice oranges. And, and like I mentioned, there's some jewelry here that you've done. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces called Portal. It has a real sense of spirituality to it. Yeah, and, I had read something, scripture or something, that inspired me and I painted it and now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so. Here's some with uh, a lot of uh, reflective metallic, is it metallic paint? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, I did a negative painting and then painted over it and yeah, I like metallic paint and then this is, Hey, this purple is called color shift, and so depending on where you're standing, it kind of changes color sometimes. Yeah, um, negative painting is where she covered the whole canvas with a design, nothing in particular, something random, and then comes out back and uh, paints the background or the to, to reveal the subject matter. Yeah. Okay. Red flowers, and we hung it. We were looking at things that went together. Here's a couple with a lot of uh, metallic. Some cards. Let's go back here. It's got a whole lot of smaller things here, and, and including some coffee mugs. But a lot of Beautiful color here. I love this one. It's got a lot of nice color. And this one's one of my favorites. But and and it was a, a painting you'd done you hadn't liked, so you worked on it some more. And yeah, it was a poor painting. I had it here for quite a while, and I took it home and did a negative thing on it, so I like that very much. And a little piece looks like some collage in there. Yeah. Tissue paper? Or? Tissue paper and um, some painting and just, it was kind of one of those meditative things, you know, just uh -huh. playing around. So, um, a large abstract here of sunflowers. <laughs> Um, another negative space painting. This, what is that? The uh, uh, the texture of the paper that's showing up. Uh, yeah, and you can kind of lift paint off, and then there's actually a piece of tissue paper there yeah. on top. This one is not for sale because her husband wants to keep it. <laughs> this is uh, a re. Production. I think the only one here. Uh -huh. And so, if you don't want to pay for the original, you can buy the reproduction for a lesser fee. <laughs> uh, here's her husband, who we just mentioned. Yeah, so, me. you know, on his old tractor. His old tractor and his old baler, and it's. I've 
watched him do that many years. <laughs> and a barn. This is a nice one. A lot of interesting texture going on in this field. Here's some small abstracts. Yeah, they're kind of uh, a lot of layers and then some paper and yeah, just little fun things. Yeah, um, a little still life with a lot of interesting patterns going on there. One of the few poor art pieces. An oak tree. Another tall abstract. Yeah, you know, sometimes changing, you know, to do a vertical or a long horizontal is it gives you a whole new perspective on things. Mm -hmm. A couple of small blue abstracts. There's a nice uh, what are peonies or maybe zinnias. Anyway, flowers, flowers in a blue vase. <laughs> Some more cups. And Another set of flowers. There's a little triptych of poppies. This is nice. It looks almost like a uh, ceramic tile. Mm -hmm. Nice one of the cat. A lot, a lot of interesting textures and things going on in that picture. Here's a piece. Lots and lots of layering and, and uh, textures in this and some gold leaf across here. Total abstract, but it feels like a horizon line to me. And here's one of my favorites. You want to tell me how you did that? Well, I started just painting with some magenta paint that I, I really love that magenta color. And I was going to do an abstract and I then I started making all these designs and then then I started seeing balls or circle shapes so I, I did a bunch of circles or you know and it was just covered in circles and then and this painting just painted itself really. Mm -hmm. Then I saw kids and then I kind of got the idea to make them not really um, a lot of diversity, but they're kind of mixed up, you know, like she's got green eyes and green hair and she's got blue hair and and so I did, I, I painted around the, the designs and I, mean, I really had a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> uh, and it's a lot of fun to look at. There's a lot to see. There's um, a look, nice repetition of forms, the balls and the, the little, their cheeks, the color on their cheeks and their eyes, and then all those verticals with the uh, legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I had all these, and this girl wasn't there, and there was this space there, and I didn't know what to do with it, so I just painted another, another girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This piece you told me had some aluminum foil in it. Yeah, it's um, that stretcher right there is uh, you glue the aluminum foil to it and then paint over it. Mm -hmm. There's this artist I like to watch on YouTube and she does that. Mm -hmm. There's a nice storm cloud picture. Yeah. Again, a lot of things going on when you come in close. There's a lot of complexity to that. This is the one you told me you were just trying to paint some spring colors and it became a pond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, painting set the way of doing that. Yeah. The lollipop trees and some flowers. And we have, this is a really wonderful piece. This is the one that there's a reproduction of the back, but it, this is still a great buy. And a, 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 it's a beautiful piece. Great color, great composition. Uh, and if you can make it, the reception is Friday, five to seven, here, April fifth. Yeah, Friday night, this Friday night. And if you 
any other time that the paper station's open, you can enter through there and come in and view. And, and the show is up till May 31st. So you have plenty of time and no excuse not to make it. See you later. We hope to see you at the reception.